You already know what it is. Great Man of God Media TV back with another reaction video. Shout out to Arlette with the catch up. Luan and Raya. I think that was the last episode, but now she's starting to put out content left and right, which is great. Uh, I love it because I'm a huge fan of Arlette. Um, so yeah, let's let's get right to it, man. No more talking. Let's get reaction. Let's get going with the reaction video. Here we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's your host, Arlette, and we are here today with Lawan and Rhea. Hey. And I hope they do a replay because I really don't remember her. I remember him. But, you know, the ladies be changing up and switching up their looks so much. I need to look back on their past episode to see because I don't remember how she <laughs> looked, honestly. <laughs> but, yeah, I hope they do a replay because I don't rem remember her at all. I really don't. Hey y'all, welcome. Hey, what's going how we on? feeling? Hot. Hot. It's, it's hot out here. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Arizona. <laughs> it's very hot. <laughs> yeah, that that that, that, that damn heat is in South Florida too. Ain't no goddamn joke, man. It's hot then among AC on plus the ceiling fan is on. Still hot. So I can imagine out in the West Coast that dry heat ain't no goddamn joke. How you feeling? I'm doing all right. I'm just trying to Yeah, this heat got me. Yeah, yeah, I feel it. I and you out here with the whole sweater on, sir? No, it's coming right <laughs> off after this. Don't worry about she, it. she, she knew how to dress. She <laughs> right. was like, "I'm coming yeah. to Arizona. I, I got to get the right uh, attire, right? Get a little looseness, you know, a little, uh -huh. little breeze in there." <laughs> Listen, man, let's tell you something real quick. <laughs> South Florida, like I said, it's a cardinal sin to wear layered clothing. You know, it, it 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 really niggas wearing suits and niggas wearing sweaters and shit like that and hoodies. You gotta be out of your goddamn mind, man. Like you know, a, a lot of my fits are shorts. I probably got like over sixty pairs of shorts. You know, um, and like that's what I mostly wear. It's like I wear a lot of you know, short set outfits and just shorts. Period. And it's my point is is that you can't wear layer clothing, man. And I get it. You're trying to wear. You know, um, what's his name? He's trying to wear an outfit that complements, I guess, the aesthetics of the show. Uh, but that shit's still hot. You know what I'm saying? It's still hot, man. So you can't really, you know, try to appease how you look based off how comfortable you want to be. You know, comfort over everything. <laughs> You know well, what I'm saying? We did have you guys on episode 10 of Pop the Balloon or Find Love, where you ended up matching. Is it going to be a yes for you for her? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. All right. I'm, yes oh, you okay. Yeah. You see how these niggas look so goddamn different, man? She looks so different. You know, her hair pulled all the way back here. And she got, oh, this nigga like to wear fucking black. Too. This nigga wearing black sweaters. Now he got he on the on the episode he got on a goddamn leather jacket. So I, don't, I guess black is your thing, man. You like to wear a, a, a black in the hot ass heat in Arizona, the the staticky dry heat in Arizona. <laughs> so I guess that's his thing. So okay, now I remember her, man. I remember her now because I was like, damn, I don't remember how she looked, but these ladies can change their goddamn look up so damn much, man. Crazy. We got a man. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll take this mic and y'all can go on up. Let's make some noise for them. <laughs> and so as we saw in there, we got to know a little bit about you guys. Not too, too much, but if you want to, you know, give us a little rundown of who you are. Let's start with you, Rhea. Well, um... Yeah, Rhea look better right here. I like her look. This this look is better than on the, than the show she had on. This look better, for real. Um, I talked a little bit about it on the show. I'm a financial advisor. Mm -hmm. I make music. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm starting a new opportunity right now. So taking on a new role mm -hmm. with a new firm and I'm really excited. So Congrats. gonna be doing that this month. And yeah, I've been a licensed investment advisor for about a year, but mm. before that I was a licensed stockbroker. Oh wow. Started out at age twenty two. So that's yeah. what's up. So that's really about me, you know. Okay. Where are you make, from? She's I'm real from the St. Pretty. Louis area. Okay. Yeah. Girl, you look way better here. You're very very pretty. Like I ain't gonna hold you. She's very pretty right here. This look is way better than she was on the other previous episode. Keep this look up, girl. Because this look, this is you right here. Super dope. I'm in St. Louis, but I live in Atlanta. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. And okay. what about for you, Luan? 
you know, pretty much working every day, <laughs> you know, in uh, private security, of course, um, transportation with my clients, private clients, okay. collabing with security and also opening up my shop for the first time. You know, it's uh, it was it was easy. It was uh, well, I wouldn't say easy. It was stressful, but now it's easy since I finally got everything situated and settled. Okay. You know, now I'm more focused on real estate and working on that portfolio. And uh, more, as I was mentioning on the show, more to expand and um, here in Phoenix, just to kind of see what, you know, I could find out here okay. and build my foundation here. So cool. Cool. All right. And so um, obviously on the show, there were, you know, a couple of comments that were, you know, made on the comment section, I guess I could say. <laughs> so to start off with you, uh, okay. Luan. <laughs> um I know on the show, she actually ended up popping your balloon. And then you guys were, you know, having some conversation, all that stuff. And you actually ended up winning her back. So, like, what was, like, your thought process when that did happen? When that happened, I didn't, I wasn't expecting her to ask for the balloon back. Okay. I just thought it was over with. I'm like, okay, you know, it's, <laughs> it is what it is. But, you know, since she asked for her balloon back and um, ever since then, we kind of, had a connection and we was more willing to try it out. Okay. Seeing if the juice was worth the squeeze, as mm. they say. Okay, okay. You know, and uh, basically try it out, see if we have that real connection. Got see it. See, you know, if it was worth it or not, so. Okay, and that situation actually happened to you twice that episode yeah. where the contestant asked for you to get your balloon back. Right. So with the first uh, young lady that came out, um, I believe she popped your balloon as well. She did. And then um, a whole situation happened where the other guy popped his balloon. Then she asked yeah, you to get yeah. yours back. Right. And you asked a question. You said, <laughs> what was it? A million followers um, or a million dollars? So I should have elaborated on that. Okay. Because a lot of the homies told me back at home, like, why'd you ask that? Yeah. Everybody wanted to know. <laughs> I was just, because me and the guys, we have conversations all the time, pretty mm -hmm. much like, how in today's society, how a lot of individuals would rather, you know, chase that clout mm. instead of chasing the real thing. Mm -hmm. You know, people might judge somebody based on their social media profile. And it's kind of like, is either you it or not on social media. And if it looks like you're not it, then you're not it. But reality, that person can have a bag and you don't right. even know it. And you're missing out on your blessing. So I know a lot of, you know, mm. a lot of people that I, came across that had those conversations about relationships mm -hmm. and, you know, dealing with uh, with women. That's kind of like the most problem nowadays and social media is everything now. Yeah. So I'm not pretty much worried about it, but I just wanted to ask to see where her mindset, mindset was, was. Mm -hmm. but I should have elaborated it more because I know a lot of people was confused. So <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Though. I wasn't okay. confused. Yeah. All right. I wasn't confused. I know exactly what he meant. Ain't no need to break that shit down. I guess you know, some of y'all can't catch on to what he said. So. Either you want the cloud or you want substance. Just that simple. So that's how I, that's what I get out of it. And then so for Rhea, um, one of the contestants told you that they were getting NPC vibes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was definitely very nervous. Uh -huh. I've never tried anything like that before. Yeah. And you know, you think you can go up there and do this. Mm. And then you get up there and you like, oh. <laughs> what yeah, am I gonna yeah. say? Like what am I gonna do? It's different, yeah. I tell you. All you niggas talking shit in the comments section say, including myself, because I haven't done it, and I said I want to be a host. This shit is hard. This shit is hard, and niggas is going to get nervous. I don't give a fuck who you are. Niggas is going to get nervous, man. So when you out there doing this show, recording it, standing up for hours, you know, filming the episodes, and you meeting strangers, and they got to judge you based off your aesthetics and your personality, you know what I'm saying? They don't really, they don't really know you, but they're trying to, you know, be a... They're trying to basically grade you as their suitor. Opposite sex. That shit is hard. You know what I'm saying? So I commend everybody. I respect everybody for coming on these type of shows. I don't care if it's 20v1. I don't care if it's Pop by Balloon. That shit is hard, bro. So kudos to everybody. I respect everybody. Even though I talk shit to them. This shit is hard. And I respect anybody on doing these type of shows. So salute, for real. So, you know... Maybe I did give off an NPC vibe unintentionally, but I'm definitely not an NPC. Like I was, it was just a little anxiety, just a little okay. nervous. But yeah. I don't know. I'm not gonna say anything else. That's okay. All I'm <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Okay. And then so, um, 
like I stated earlier, you ended up popping Luan's b- b- balloon at first. Yeah. And then I guess after speaking with him, like what kind of, what did he say made you change your mind? Well, it was like his tone of voice was kind of like, okay, he seemed like he wanted to try to help me to understand mm. where he was coming from. So at first I took it as like, wow, I let off by saying, oh, I do this, I do that. Yeah. And then you asked me what I look like without makeup. Mm. So I felt like it was just like a weird question initially. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, I kind of understood where he was coming from because some people, they want to know what someone looks like, yeah. you know, up front. So, you know, and initially I didn't like the question. Though. Yeah. Initially, yeah. I really, it <laughs> rubbed me the wrong way initially. But then after just listening to him, like, okay, he didn't mean no harm. Yeah. And then. Know. You she kind real of elaborated pretty. what you meant by that, right? Yeah, because I didn't want her to get the wrong impression or the wrong idea, and I may have came off a little wrong. Mm. You know, I had to think about it too. Like, yeah, I really just said that. <laughs> but you know, I'm glad that she ended up picking up on what I was yeah. trying to say. So more like really, what I was just trying to say was like I, I like more than natural. You know, I grew up you know with my mom, my sister. You mm-hmm. know, they was more like natural. They didn't wear weave or. Mm. Or a wig, they just kind of went with their natural look. So that's kind of like what I'm used to growing up. So I lean more towards that, which I don't mind if somebody want to slay it. You Mm -hmm. know, Mm -hmm. that's cool too. So that's pretty much what I was trying to say. Okay, and you even made a comment. You're like, man, someone's gonna say I'm wearing too much makeup. Like, so it was already in the back of your mind, wasn't it? (laughs) I knew that someone's gonna say it, but I said, you know, I do this sometimes though, and Uh that's what I felt like doing. I'm, I'm a mood person. So that was my mood that day. Yeah, and it worked. It worked. <laughs> you still got your match, okay? <laughs> All right. So, you know, let's get to the part that everyone is always, always waiting to hear. So obviously, we saw you guys ended up matching on the show. So since that show has happened, have you guys gone on a date? Yeah, we went you, you on a date. Start? You went That's on a date. Like, <laughs> That's what's up. Love that. I love that. I think everybody needs to be obligated to go on dates after they match so y'all can have a proper follow-up. It should be mandated. And I don't know if, if Arlette makes these make her contestants sign NDAs in terms of when they do a follow-up that their experience is only shared with Arlette's platform. They can't go on any other platform to share their experience. So I don't know, but I, I would think that would be, at least in my opinion, I would do that. You know, I would do that. It's, it's my content and, and you know, you match based off of my platform. I would do that, but I don't know, you know, but it is what it is. Okay, okay. Who wants to start it off? Ladies first. Ladies oh, first. Ladies first. <laughs> yeah, we've been on a few days. Oh. Yeah, okay. we've been on a few days. It's oh. like, all we do is go on dates and sing like. <laughs> Oh That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, we've been we've been having a nice time, but it didn't start out that way though. Uh oh, it didn't start out that way. Go ahead. Tell I was still juice. like mm-hmm. feeling some type of way because yeah. he said something to me about why you got on weave and makeup, and mm-hmm. I was just like, I was like still rubbed the wrong way about that the first night. Okay. So, mm. We went to the club. All the girls, we all went to the club, and then the bad part was. You know, I was still rubbed the wrong way. I wasn't even thinking we were going to, like, hang out. Okay. So I met a gentleman at the club. Uh-oh. And, <laughs> and he invited me and the other girls to the section. Uh-huh. And I was actually talking with another gentleman when he came to the club that same night. Oh. And we didn't think we was going to vibe the first night at okay. all. Like, <laughs> and So this is what both of y'all are thinking. Like, um, yeah. yeah, most definitely thought oh, about that. But it gets better. This is just the first half. Okay, so I'm going to okay. just speak on that part. That's how it really started off. We were kind of like, well, I was more standoffish towards him. Mm. It was me. Okay. We mm. call it me being a little stiff on him. So yeah. I was a little stiff she on him. She was most definitely stiff. <laughs> I, like I was just like, mm. <laughs> I was rubbed around. It takes me a little while. It yeah. takes me a little while, but. You know, he asked me out the next day, and I said, you know what? You know, we both out here in Arizona mm-hmm. visiting. Might as well. Exactly. You know, we came here. We oh. matched. Like, I'll, I'll see what it's about. I'll mm-hmm. see if the juice is worth the squeeze. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how I started out. And, you know, I want him to tell his side a little bit, too. I'll tell okay. some more later, but, you All know. Right. we'll be I back. Him... We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lamont, tell us your side. Most definitely. We went to the club, me and uh, – a good friend of mine, actually he was on the show. So, you know, me and Dante, we most definitely went to the club and okay. we met up with him. And uh, when we pulled up, you know, I seen them in the booth, you know, they they lit, you know, they celebrating and I see her, you know, looking like she calling the shots in the club. <laughs> I was like, man, I'm, I'm just gonna let her do her thing. Yeah. I walk around and see, you know, 
who got their eye on me, mm. you know, since she occupied. You Damn. Know what I'm saying? I'm I know afraid. niggas will I know niggas would feel some type of way if they saw a lady they match with on the show and then go to the club to find that she's talking to another nigga in a section and straight wild and like <sighs> But he went past that. Apparently it's positive vibes, but let's see. What I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he told me, he was like, yeah, it's over with. Let's just have fun with him. I'm like, yeah, me and her probably not going to connect. I feel like that comment really got to us. So, mm. you know, I wasn't really tripping because I felt like I did came off a little harsh, uh -huh. you know. But at this point, I'm like, she feel how she feels. Mm. But, you know, the next day, really later that night, I thought about it. I'm going to hit her up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I had texted, like, you know, slide through the moxie and let's chill by the pool. Okay. And then, that you know, same let's night talk. after the club? Nah, it was oh, the next day. Then, okay, okay. I just thought about, you know, I'm going to hit her up tomorrow. Okay. And then, you know, have her come through. You know, she came through and I'm like, all right. So um, when she came, that's when I was like, okay. She pulled up. Then we went by the pool. We mm -hmm. talked. And then, after that, we pretty much was like, okay, let's go on a date. We finna go out, explore Phoenix. So okay. that's how mm. it go. Got it. All right. So where was the first date? Where'd you guys end up going? Like, how'd that go? So the first day, he was staying at the Moxie uh -huh. in the Phoenix area. I'm not sure where it's at in Phoenix, but he was staying at the Moxie. So I drove to him. Mm -hmm. And we went out to eat first. Okay. Just went out to eat, got some food. We explored around the city. Oh. We went to like a little video game arcade. That's okay. Cool. I forgot what it was called though. Yeah, I forgot what it's called. Yeah, too. we got a little Oh, that's video, a nice picture. Whatnot. So oh. it was nice. And then the person. Why she? Damn. Hold on. How many looks she got? She got a lot of looks. Hold on. Hold on. So I drove to him, mm -hmm. and we went out to eat first. Okay. Just went out to eat, got some food. We explored around the city. Oh. We went to like a little video game arcade. That's I, cute. I forgot what it was called though. Yeah, I forgot what it's called. Yeah, too. we got a little video, whatnot. So oh. it was nice. And then the Damn, person the there, glasses. like people in okay. Phoenix here, they're so nice. Yeah. Like genuinely nice. That's and what's it's different up. than any other city. And the, <laughs> the guy that was bartending, mm -hmm. he let us get like all the coins we needed for like free. Wow. And we just had a good time playing all the games oh. and That's then we went and got up. some hookah from somewhere. Mm -hmm. and, okay. Yeah, and then we went back at the pool. And it was nice. Okay. Yeah, we That's... enjoyed ourselves. Like I got a chance to really get to know him. Yeah. And just hear him talk. And I'm like, okay. He's like a nice person. He's very chivalrous and just very, you know, kind and very much so a gentleman. Mm. That's what's up. And I was surprised. Because I wasn't expecting us to vibe at all. But I was going to give it a chance, but I was not expecting us to vibe at all. Okay. I was like keeping an open mind though. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, most definitely. But <clears throat> as she was mentioning, we had fun at the arcade. We got some hookah. And we went back to, you know, the hotel. So we pretty much vibed after that. And what I feel like we did something that night. Did we do something that night? We pretty much just vibed by the pool the rest of the yeah, night. Yeah, just vibe. Okay. Because yeah. we knew we was leaving the next day. So we was just going to, you know, chill. What the hell is vibing and tell, though? Can you be more specific? <laughs> yeah. With this vibe where y'all got going on, man. Vibing. Vibing could be a lot of goddamn things. And. Y'all, y'all was vibing three times. Y'all went on multiple dates. Y'all was vibing real goddamn good. So I wish y'all could be more specific and not put it up in the air. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but after that, you know, she came to Nashville that next weekend. So yeah, okay, you know, okay, that's what's up. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, y'all. Okay, so you guys went on a date and hung out when you were both in Arizona. Mm -hmm. Then you guys went back to your homes. Right. Which yeah. is Nashville, Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And then you end up going to Nashville. Mm -hmm. oh, all right, <laughs> let's go. Tell me about this. Tell me about this. Like, how did this, how'd you guys plan this? How did it all go down? That means she was flewed out. That's what's up. She He flew her out. <laughs> That's what's up. Um, it wasn't really a real plan. It was just kind of like, well, I've never been to Nashville. Uh -huh. Like, we had said that on the show. Yeah, like, you oh, did. we got to get you up here. I'm like, okay. So I just didn't want to be in Atlanta. Atlanta's a very busy city. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I get tired of all the just emotion that's going on out there. Yeah. So like, oh, I want to go somewhere different. Okay. So like, I decided to drive up there. It's only three hours away. Oh, so, okay, okay. She yeah, drove I'm there. Taking a long ride, so I drove up there. Okay. My bad. She ain't. She get food out, but that's still good. I mean, that shows a lot of interest and, and effort too, to not only go on the first date but to follow up and make an effort to go see him again. That's what's up. That's that's a real good connection. That's super dope. Not drove. I drove. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I drove. Yeah. they were dragging you in the comments for that. Oh, man. Yeah, they, they drug me for that. But I drove up there and 
He showed me around his hometown. It was nice. It was nice. I enjoyed myself. Okay. He was a gentleman. Took me some to some nice spots. It's Atlanta. Oh, I'm sorry, not Atlanta. Nashville. Mm. Nashville's like Atlanta, but it's busy. It was mm. just as busy as Atlanta. Oh. You know, I was surprised about that. I thought it was gonna be like slow paced. Okay. Away from the vibe, but no plan. I just said, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and come up there. Mm. I did. You know, want to make a little comment about our time there, but I'm gonna say that for a little later though. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. How go. long were you out there? I was there for about three and a half, four days. Oh, like, probably closer to three, four days, somewhere between there. Spend some time. Okay, uh, that was nice. Most definitely spent some okay. time. Where'd you take her around Nashville? Oh, I most definitely took her to Willie B's. Mm -hmm. I most definitely took her to uh, Flamingo. Okay, what's and then Flamingo? Flamingo is a it's a cocktail bar. Okay, it's a coffee shop during the day, but when it closed, um, in the back. In the backspace area, it turned into a bar. Mm. Sometimes they have jazz night too on Fridays. That sounds fun. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. Okay. I also took it to um, Rosemary out out in East Nashville, mm. which is a popular place. A lot of people do TikToks there. You mm. know, they got good food, good Mexican food. So, mm. yeah. That place was a vibe. They had swings too. I liked Rosemary. That was my favorite one. Oh, oh look, yeah, they vibing right good. here. Look at that. They vibing for real. That is dope. They vibe. I see what they talk about vibing. Uh, they tipsy. <laughs> okay, somebody smokes cigarettes. That's not a good look for me. I don't like nobody who smoke. So somebody, somebody's a smoker. I'm not sure who it is. But hey, they having a good time. They not bothered. That's what's up. Uh, okay. Yeah. So um, when she was like, I'm, I'm coming out to Nashville, like, were you shocked or like, like, I <laughs> what was going through your mind? I, I knew she wasn't <laughs> bluffing because I knew she was you know, ready to get out of Atlanta, mm -hmm. even though we just came back from Phoenix. But I know just being in the city for so long, I know you just want to get away from it, especially yeah. if it's so busy like Atlanta. So I was just more so as in like, you know, you're welcome to come. I'll show you around. I'm not doing anything this weekend, honestly. So it's open. So it was perfect timing. Nice. You know, so um, it was cool to show around the city, show her a different um, view of Nashville instead mm -hmm. of country music. Right. You know, the culture is still there too. Okay. So I had to show her that. Yeah, because I don't know much about Nashville. Like oh, you said, man. I just yeah. think country music too. <laughs> hey, those folks in Nashville, they know how to party. I'll say that much. Ooh. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. They got party buses pulled by tractor trailers. What? That's, yeah, it's like country, like Hollywood. Like, <laughs> okay, that's the best way I can explain it. <laughs> Oh. It's inter I thought it was gonna be laid back. They uh -huh. party out there. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. It was a very lively city, actually. I mean, like <laughs> you mentioned, I've I haven't been seeing like people go to tick on TikTok to Nashville. Like mm -hmm. Nashville is just such a thing. Yeah. And uh, I almost definitely took her to Jefferson Street, Buchanan Street. Um, that's more like those streets is more like our culture. You mm. catch a lot of hookah bars. Mm. You mm. catch uh, a lot of lounges or whatnot. So I kind of wanted to show her. You know, um, our culture is there. You can have fun amongst, you know, each other. So, yeah, that's – we pretty much didn't do, a, like, as much as I wanted to. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's always the future yeah. to do some more stuff. So yeah. That's what's up. I like yes. the sound of that. I'm going to have to come to Atlanta. I got some family down there in Atlanta, out on the south side. So, okay. come down there. Y'all planning that already? It's in the works. It's in the works. It's in the, it's in the works. works. It's We're talking works. about it. Because I'm not coming up to Nashville no more. Oh. I went, I've been a couple times. All right. This is time. Okay. You went a couple. So you went that one time you drove there, and then you've been back again since then? Yeah, we flew out from Nashville together, yeah. So we went. Hold <laughs> up. Wait. Hold I went on. I twice, but I told him it's my last time. It's my last time. <laughs> okay. So the first time you drove there, and then you drove there again, and then mm -hmm. you guys flew here together? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what's up. Okay. Wow. Hey, and how long yeah. did you spend again that second time around? Well, I mean, it was just I, I drove there the night before oh, okay. because our flights were pretty early. And it's so funny, though, because both times I went, when I posted it on my story, like people noticed oh. and they were DMing me like, oh, are you in Nashville <laughs> with LaJuan? <laughs> Are you in Nashville? I'm like, I don't even know y'all. Like, why are right. you? Like, like, put in two and two together. It was funny. It was funny. Like, people noticed. So, yeah. like That was the second time, but he has to come to me next time for sure. I was going to say, because you're taking a lot of initiative here. Yeah, Good. for sure. Like, usually That's the guy saying. goes to the girl, but uh, Luan. I, I come to Atlanta. Okay. Like I said, I got family down there, so... I wouldn't mind coming to Atlanta. Mm. So I didn't really want that. him to come to Atlanta too much because I don't want him to get tainted by the city. Oh, <laughs> see Atlanta, being three hours from Atlanta, like you can ask anybody from Nashville. Like uh -huh. Atlanta is like 
the next door neighbor. So we've been going to Atlanta like all our lives. Like Atlanta, Atlanta is Atlanta is always something new in Atlanta, but mm. we used to that. We used mm. to that culture. So it's nothing new, honestly. So that's why I was trying to explain to her, like, that culture is nothing new to us. Yeah. We've been to okay. Atlanta. I'm just making time. sure. So are the two cities like similar? Not at all. Oh, okay, okay. They are, but they aren't. Mm. I don't want to say how they're different, but no like difference. there's a slight difference, but they're very similar. Okay. <laughs> like right. Nashville is Atlanta, but reverse. Like when it it's comes country to, music instead of hip hop. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's that's pretty much. We just gonna. <laughs> We gonna leave it at that. Right, yeah. right. Pe- people would catch on if, if they got the sense to catch on. So. Got it. I mean, there's okay. so so the- still a hip hop scene in Nashville and Tennessee, so it's not like it's all the country music. The second time that you guys were together in Nashville, um, did you guys do anything? Like, no dates? I know you said you just went there and it was just like, we yeah, I just, just yeah. The second time, I just worked from home. You know, okay. he let me work from home while he was at work. So, okay. oh. and then yeah, we just. Got the flight. That was it. Got it. Mm. All right. So wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you said he let you work from home while he went to work. So so you were at his place that second time. Actually, both times I was at his place. Oh, yeah, she stayed in my shit. place most definitely. I told her. <laughs> okay. I told Damn. her I got a nice rooftop. You know, come. You know, enjoy the view with me. Okay. You know, um, it's a city view, so it's easy access to downtown. So if you Got need anything, it. we can just straight shot. Okay. Wow. Right there. Yeah, he's doing good for himself. So. You know, I'm really impressed. You know, him being 27, being uh-huh. a homeowner already, and you know, a nice neighborhood, yeah. and you know, it was really nice. It's really nice. It was really nice of him to offer his home to because that's a big thing. You yeah. know, you don't know me too well, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we weren't really like smothered with each other though. Honestly, okay. you know, we weren't right on top of each other. Mm-hmm. But it's been nice getting to know him so closely. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey. Cause that's what's up. Kudos to the brother, 27, homeowner. I don't remember if he got kids or not. Um, but this this brother does not come in abundance. This is a rare breed right here. Y'all ladies need to take notes. When you find a man like him, you better hold on to that man because you ain't going to find somebody like him and talking about, oh, I can find somebody else. No, you can't. These type of brothers are rare. All right, so if you find one, you better hold on to him. <laughs> but that's what's up, man. That's what's up. I, He's I was like, most he got some red flags there. a little bit, though. I ain't going to lie. What's the red flags? Oh. I didn't want to tell you this. I don't know if I should say it right now or not, but. <laughs> He's floor, ready. Well, he's floor, waiting to hear. Just okay, the floor so, is yours. Okay. I was looking for some tissue at your house while you were gone. and um. There we go. There we go. I actually found something else, and I was like, oh. Okay, like is this a red flag or is this a green flag? Um, but what I have found under your sink instead of tissue was like handcuffs and um, like some body oils and roses. And I didn't know if he had something else going on with somebody else or like he's some type of like Fifty Shades of Grey type of dude or he got like some type of. <laughs> I don't know what he got going on. I don't know. I don't know. That's why the nigga got a, That's why the nigga got his own man case so he could do all that freaky shit by himself with other females. That's the reason why he got the goddamn house, and that's the reason why he invited her over. Huh? Catch it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, the brother still got you know. Kudos to the brother for being a homeowner, but damn, some handcuffs, some body oil, and some shit like woo. Okay, you know what type of time he on. Like, it, we're still going to know each other, so I don't know. It's, that was a little, made me think you're a little playful, I like maybe. massages. Okay. So the body oil most definitely enhanced the feeling and makes it better. Okay. The body oil. The handcuffs, I mean, I want to be spontaneous with my partner. So, you know, it's special occasion. You know, it was there. But, um, yeah, you should have just texted me about where the tissue was. I could have just told you where it was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. For real. I should have texted you instead. You should have just called me like, hey, like, where's the tissue? Where the tissue I just at? assumed it would be under the sea. <laughs> That's where it usually is. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> since you guys got to Arizona, have you guys been able to, you know, explore, do any fun things, or like, have you guys gone on any dates out here? Yeah, we did. We okay. actually went to Hash Kitchen. Ooh. Actually, so it, it was the food was actually pretty good. Yes. We most definitely um, 
because we had started um, a channel on visiting like restaurants as uh, a couple date. Mm. Okay. And uh, we kind of want to try different restaurants where um, couples, you know, can have a good time, especially black couples. Yeah. Even though we're dating, but we're still trying to get to know each other. And I feel like this journey on visiting restaurants can like build memories. Yeah. And we can most definitely um, uh, find a spark. I feel like we we have, but I feel like just traveling and visiting different restaurants like in Atlanta, mm-hmm. like any black mm-hmm. restaurants, own, black owned restaurants in Atlanta or yeah. in Nashville as well, we're planning on visiting them and showing them love and support. And we also want to show them that um, black love or, you know, black couples still exist yeah. and um, we still want to have a good time. That's what's up. We want to show people, even though we started off rough, but <laughs> oh, that's a dope it picture. Was it was. Yeah. We've had some more rough moments for sure. That's what's like, up. Yeah, we've had some other rough moments, but I think it shows that you know sometimes you have to work through things, mm-hmm. like communication wise. Like I think a thing for us sometimes we miscommunicate a lot, mm-hmm. and sometimes I kind of kind of like fly off the handle a little bit. Okay. I mean, like, okay, why are you acting like this? Why are you doing this? And I kind of fly off a little bit, but then we always. Find a way to kind of wake up, you know? So who who does most of the making? <laughs> I will say him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when it comes to communication, especially with her, just uh-huh. call. Or really with me, call me. You know, I'm always yeah. in the mix. I'm doing something. So it's like, just call me. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not going to always respond back, you know, especially because I feel like she kind of felt like, I felt like, she was thinking like this guy don't never text back mm-hmm. or this guy don't never like communicate with me mm-hmm. but you know just just call me i'll pick up okay. it ain't nothing i can always tell somebody like give me one moment it's an important call you know so at least she know now like just call me mm-hmm. you know so your texting skills aren't great nah. i don't think either one of ours are oh that's horrible <laughs> so that's y'all just do a that. lot of calling is there like facetime any of that we just started doing FaceTime. facetime uh-huh FaceTime and talking on the phone for sure. See how beautiful it is. They make exceptions for each other. You know, they they realize we're not the best when it comes to texting and replying back in a reasonable time. He said, just call me. She acknowledged she's not the best texter as well. They made an exception and they still follow through. This is great to see, man. I love this. This is this is. This right here is a representation of, of all that show and how legitimate it is when you find a match and they go out on and they go on a date and they're building that rapport based off compatibility. Remember, I said I keep saying to y'all the three stages of a relationship are attraction, compatibility, and sustainability. Right? How long can you maintain or sustain after you guys are compatible? Right? But these guys are just continue to elevate uh you know when it comes to getting to know each other and and being compatible with one another and making exceptions about things that you guys aren't compatible with that is that's a chef's kiss right there that is superb so far superb love it it works better for us yeah (laughs) okay all right so you said you guys started a channel together we did oh Oh, what's the name of the channel couples by cupid oh Okay, so you, all the dates have been on there, or like? So we um in the process of like editing, okay, and making sure like we um uh, pretty much just trying to make sure the video is edited right. We mm-hmm. you know we still gotta sort some things out in the video, see how we, the appearance look and everything like that. Got it. So once Damn. that's done, it should be uh live. Okay. Wow. And now each restaurant you guys go to is gonna be like its own video, or are you guys doing like a? Like, how is it going to work? Do you guys know so yet already? So we're going to do multiple things. So we're going to have date nights where we go on restaurant dates. Uh-huh. But we're also just going to do our dates in general. Like, okay. just good date ideas for couples in general. You know, mm. fun stuff we could do. So. Nice. That's what's up. I love that. Have anywhere else while you've been out here? We have. We actually went on a double date yesterday. Okay. With a couple other people who matched. Oh. Well, another couple who matched. It was Dante and, and Trinity. Trinity. Yeah. Oh. Goodness. And they are so fun. They were so funny. <laughs> they are, they're some characters. We that had a real good so time. Good. And then you all are celebrities out here. So we, while we were out to eat, we went to Lolo's. Oh, I love uh, Lolo's. Trinity, she she suggested brunch house, and I'm definitely gonna have to try brunch house. Lolo's is pretty decent. Uh-huh. It was pretty decent, but definitely gonna try out brunch house uh-huh. tomorrow with okay. her. But when we went together, we were sitting down, just minding our business, drinking our drinks, eating. 
And then some of the, a group of the waitresses came up and like, were you guys on a pop the balloon show? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, we we're like, yeah. So it was, it was real funny. It was real oh, funny. Y'all the Unexpected. celebrities. They noticed y'all. I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Has that happened a lot? Or like that was the first know. time for me. Okay, personally. I'm not sure if it happened to him. Has or that not. happened to you? Somebody came to me and said you look familiar, but I was just like, okay. <laughs> At first, I was just gonna ask you watch YouTube, but my face is very familiar. So people, once they see me and they meme, it's kind of like, okay, I'm gonna always remember that guy. Yeah. So mm. it could have been another setting, but that pretty much happened the first time at Lolo's, uh -huh. honestly. So. All right. Yeah. And then, so you guys said you did travel here together. How was it traveling together? Because I know a lot of couples are like, this is when I really determine if I really like this person. Like, you know, because traveling is a big deal. Yeah. So how was it? So, you know, traveling with her can be interesting. Okay. I feel like we'll still have to get to, you know, get to know each other more, mm. you know, because I like to go places. I like to go out of the country. So I want to make sure, you know, you are, you are a good vibe. You know, you know how to have fun. I don't want to travel with nobody that's born. Mm. Not saying she mm. is, but... You know, I want to make sure that this is the person I can have fun with and see the world with. Because okay. that's a big thing for me. I love traveling. Yeah. That's my hobby. So, uh, so so far, are you liking her? I'm liking her so far. Uh -huh. We, we like I said, we getting to know each other. And I feel like that takes time. Mm. Um, I don't want to rush anything. Not saying that I don't want anything. Mm -hmm. But I want to make sure this is right. I want to make sure that we... Um, are truly compatible mm. we have the same visions we have the same goals mm -hmm. and um the communication just got to get better too mm. honestly we can work on that <laughs> for real but. We definitely can <laughs> so Rhea, you are you feeling him you liking him so far some days yeah some oh. days no. <laughs> <laughs> some but for the most part today what about more... today yeah you've been cool today i like you today <laughs> 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 but that's how it is sometimes some days you like the person uh -huh. that you get to know some days you don't but he has more way more good qualities than bad but some days that's what's up. he gets him on nerves but <laughs> that's what's up <laughs> all right <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, like you said, you guys just got to work on that communication. Right. So, yeah. who, who's dropping the ball most of the time? Is it a, both of you guys or? Dropping the ball is in, like, communication. Right. Was, right. Like, why do you feel like you guys have to improve? Like, what's missing? We both drop the ball. Yeah, mm -hmm. Like, he, he starts off the miscommunication, and I just I just take it too far. You run with it. Yeah. <laughs> I take it too far, and then... Uh... Yeah, <laughs> I just be in the mix, and sometimes I just I get too caught up on what I'm doing, mm -hmm. and then like I she'll text me, and then I see like three more text messages, and I'm like, dang, I. And it's not like no shade or nothing, but it's like I don't got caught up in this work too okay. long, and it's like I need to do better. So I'm like, I'm just gonna call her, just let her know, like from this hour and on. I probably won't be communicating like so mm. well because I'm gonna be busy. So you're saying you're gonna start letting her know that now? Right, mm, okay, just so okay. she won't just go in there thinking I'm just gonna reply back mm -hmm. consistently and it's like, I'm gonna take an hour or two maybe just to text her back. Okay. Mm. And I don't wanna think something else going on mm. since she finding stuff in the crib yeah. and you know, <laughs> okay, like, asking questions, you know, about my ex, like, you know, yeah. so. Okay. That's, that's, I just I don't want I just want to clear all confusions, clear the clear the air mm -hmm. for real. So, okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, how much longer are you guys gonna be in Arizona? Like, do you guys have a lot of things planned? And no, oh, we don't. Not much. This is a short trip because okay. we have to get back to work. We've been traveling a little too much, and mm. we got to get back focused. <laughs> got it. Got it. Are you guys right. like staying anywhere like fancy, anywhere cute, any of like that good stuff? We staying at the Hilton Resort, Ooh, the Cliffs Resort. resort. Okay. Yeah, so it was pretty nice. Got about seven pools, got a golf course, got a waterfall, you know, got a view of the mountains. So it's pretty dope. That's what's oh. up. Yeah. So you, don't, you guys don't even have to go out anywhere. That we resort really, got it all. Got it, got it all. <laughs> got it all. That's nice. Private okay. pool, so, you know. Wow. Well, you know, I'm so happy to hear that you guys are, you know, at least trying to get to know each other. You got this channel going on. You right. guys have gone all these dates. Right, We're out here right. together. Like, this is just so beautiful to see starting off the way you guys Hell started yeah. off to now. Like, right, it's amazing. Right. It was a rough start. <laughs> yeah. Oh, even better. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely good luck to you guys. I'm gonna be on. The, I'm gonna be watching the stories. I'm gonna see whenever you go to Atlanta. Most that that'll be the first stop. <laughs> so like our next, we did um like as we mentioned Lolo's, uh -huh. and then um we did uh, hash. hash. So we kitchen. did hash uh -huh. kitchen. So the next stop would be Atlanta. Mm. So I'm gonna come to Atlanta. Yes. And 
It's her city, so yeah, she I'm gonna show to... you a time. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna show you a time. Show me what's up. Oh, you know <laughs> we're all gonna be creeping. We'll be in them stories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So anything upcoming for either one of you that we can be on the lookout on, or you know, on projects, any of that good stuff? Well, for me, you know, I'm starting off my practice, so I've always worked for other people when it comes mm. to being an advisor, mm. and you know, I'm actually starting out the brain. Well, build my own clientele. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about that. It's a big venture, big feat, and, you know, a little nervous because yeah. the clients have always come to me and now I have to go find my clients. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I'm confident in it, okay. confident in myself and what I've learned over these years. So that's one thing. Mm -hmm. But on the music side, definitely going to be dropping new music. So, Ooh. yeah, be on the lookout. Yes, be on the lookout. Yeah, be okay. On the lookout. <laughs> but, yeah, we're going to drop a song called... I'm going to give both of y'all a follow. I love this. I'm going to give both of y'all a follow. Shout out to both of y'all, man. I... I this was this was incredible. This was so great to see Black Love and the fact that she made an effort to go out to see him. You know what I'm saying? And they don't even live in the same city. They live in two separate states. One in Georgia, one in Tennessee, bro. Like, come on. There's no excuses. Y'all can make shit pop. Y'all can vibe out in two separate states. You know, and, and try to make things work. And the the woman, the female, she made an effort to go drive to see him. Like, come on. Where they do that at? This is this is great. I love this. And they got a couple channel on YouTube. Summer love and man. Yeah. And also, me and him just doing a YouTube channel and he's also really good with financial literacy as well. So we're thinking about doing something together and trying to do something wow. good for the community. So yeah. yeah, that's a lot jumbled into one, but I love it though. Yeah. <laughs> just, just check out my page. Check out we my page. will. We will. Good luck to you on starting that business. Yeah, Thank you. Definitely. Yeah. Luan? Most definitely. We're trying to get it. We're trying to stay locked in. So as she was mentioning, we're trying to build courses for the community mm. who that um, need a little bit more enlightening on like financial literacy, yeah. credit, home loan, or whatnot. So we are willing to help people who willing like that's trying to become a homeowner that mm. want their credit score to be you know higher that's yeah. what's up. 100 all that good stuff so i'm excited to do that because you know i like helping people you know mm. uplifting i should say so you know I, that's kind of what i'm doing right now since i kind of got you know my real estate portfolio the way it need to be then you know my sneaker shop so it, life is good so now it's time like the little homies like what to help them like this is yeah, kind of what y'all need to do so you know Lift as I climb, as my fraternity I always preach. So, you know, that's kind of what I want to do. That's what's I'm so up. Excited yeah. for you guys. Yeah. And all that's what's up. Hold up, hold up, man. Let me let me do my thumbnail for approval. This was great. This gives the GMOG Media stamp of approval. That's my thumbnail, by the way. I love it. I love it, bro. This was great. This was awesome. This was awesome, bro. Like, incredible. They live don't they don't even live in the same state, and they make shit we work. To do and all that this was stuff. great. So, once again, thank you guys so much for coming on. It was such a Definitely. pleasure speaking with you yeah. both. Yeah, thank you <laughs> for letting us come on. Of I course. love what you're doing. Thank you. I'm speaking a Netflix deal on you or some type Ooh. of movie deal. Hell yeah! Right now. I said the Amen. same shit. Amen. I love what you're doing. <laughs> hell hell yeah. yeah! The presentation, just like how everyone's so classy and yep, to, exactly. You know, be well spoken and even when they stumble, you know. So yeah. I really love what you're doing thank for the community. You. Hell yeah! Thank hell you yeah! So much. Well, everyone at home, thank you for tuning in, and we will catch you all next time. Chef's kiss. This is great. I love black. Ain't no, ain't nothing more powerful than black love. Ain't nothing more powerful than black love. This was a chef's kiss, man. Just shout out to both of y'all. I hope y'all just get married and have a bunch of damn babies and stuff. And, and, and I love it, man. If y'all niggas was looking for tea, if y'all niggas was looking for motherfuckers cursing at each other, getting disrespectful, you found the wrong catch up. This was the complete opposite this was actually better than, um, well, I forgot their names, but this is, I, for me, this was the best catch up to date because they don't even live in the same state and they made a concerted effort to go and spend time with each other, even flew out to go do the catch up with Arlette. So kudos to y'all. Y'all got your own YouTube channel, going out to restaurants, promoting financial literacy. This is black empowerment and black excellence excellence at its finest right here. This is black love. This is the epitome of black love right here. I love it. Shout out to both of y'all. I'm going to follow both of y'all, man. 
And um, I love this representation of black love right here. This is super, 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 super dope. And um, much respect. Shout out to Arlette. Uh, again, like everybody says, you know, she needs a, a Netflix deal or some kind of deal at one of these damn uh, streaming services. But this was this was so great to see. I love it, man. I, I love it. Kudos to y'all. I, I feel great. My heart is warm and I'm excited about y'all journey. And uh, I, I wish y'all the best. This is great. Love it. Let me know if you made it this far. I appreciate you guys for watching my reaction to our let's catch up. All right. Until next time, family, leave your comments down below. Make sure you also like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check out my information at the top. As you can see, you can donate to the channel. Any contribution that will be great. And make sure you follow my social medias, family. Till next time, signing out. Peace.